Hello and welcome everybody. So, I wanted to go over, I wanted to go over, not really the patch notes. Well, I, I guess I'm going to be talking about the patch notes and whatchamacallit. The dev vlog they made just a little bit ago. In the background, I'll just be playing New World as I talk, loving up my Void Gauntlet, you know, all that good stuff. Anywho, so one of the changes that they did add that I do really like that I am currently not getting, which I thought I was going to, I guess I need to be on that road, is the speed that you get while being on a road. We'll get over to the road and you'll be able to see it in a minute. But anyways, moving on from that until you guys can see that. the Another change that they added in this recent patch are the trading posts are linked. I don't really know how that has to do with like when you're owning a territory, the trading actually get for it. I think all, all territories are getting some revenue from it now. I don't really know how that works. But I'm really enjoying the Void Gauntlet. Void Gauntlet is super fun. There's There was apparently a bug with it where... Yeah, see, there's... There's a movement speed I was talking about. Very nice quality of life. When you're on the road, you'll get a movement speed to get to point A to point B a lot faster, or from point A to point B a lot faster. That was nice. Definitely something, at least. It's, it's, it's no mount which people want, but hey, it's something. Anyways, Void Gauntlet. Right. I'm only level 10. I haven't really been playing too much. Because I've also been playing Halo Infinite, which you probably saw today if you would see the stream. I was just testing out the net, you know, all that good stuff. All that good old net stuff. We all know how that is for me. Anyways, I don't really have a build set up for... Well, I can't avoid Gauntlet just yet. It's still testing things out, but you all know I will be using the Void Blade as a main setup. And I've been using the Link. I just picked up the Sinestro Ball, which people have been calling it for. Watch. The Sinestro Ball, you shoot at it, does damage, comes back, and heals you and all allies in the range that it's going. There's something else. What was it? Oh, moving on to the dev vlog. So, all your gathering gear. Not all your gathering gear, the, the herbalist gear, the, the stuff that you use. The harvester, there we go. The harvester set that people have been clamoring about. But we will be getting, if you have obtained the set before, you will be getting the highest value of the set that you've got. So, say you got like 500 piece, a single glove of you you'll be getting a 500 set. If you got a 600 piece, you'll be getting a 600 set. From 500 to 600, you know, whatever you've got, you'll be getting a full set of that. So, that's like, I don't know if I've had one, I even really looked because I didn't doing much herb gathering. But that's nice for everybody who has lost that. Because I'm there's a lot of people who've lost it. There's definitely been a lot of people who lost it. But one of the important changes that has been confirmed to be a mistake, which you guys will see in the dev vlog that they posted just a bit ago. I'll pull it up now. So you guys can see, I will have it in the, the what I'll call it, the description. I don't know why I'm struggling with that, but the mist right here, the unchanges, the elite, not the elite difficulty tuning. The elite difficulty tuning is definitely noticeable. There is like in the in the shattered minds, right? Not shattered minds in the mines, like up, up here. Your normal run, my normal daily run that sh I'm sure some of you have seen. But anyways, they move the chests around, so it's a lot harder to actually do it solo now. There's more enemies, more HP, and they hit a little bit harder, which is okay. They wanted to increase the difficulty, which they stated in the devlog. But it's, it's a lot harder to get that loot run done and over with now. But it's still doable. You can still do it. Unfortunately, right now, they accidentally changed the... 
I don't know where it is. I can't find it. Oh, right here. So, this is a bug. They know it. We'll be getting a fix to this next week. So don't worry about this. This will be changing. The whole quote the whole quote gear. We already went over that. The ring though. The double look ring. That was intentional. I don't. Now that I think about it. I don't. When I was looking over this, I don't think they. Unless I missed it. I guess you guys will be able to find it. But I didn't see anything. Gold seller problems are getting better and better. That's nice. But some of the people reporting that their gear was tweaked and changed. Yeah, I don't know. I'm assuming that was an issue, a bug. But I don't remember hearing anything about this. Lost houses, everybody who's a homeowner. I'm currently homeless in New World, so I don't know. But... There has apparently been a lot of bugs for homeowners, which, which which sucks. Harvester's gear, you'll be getting a full set next week. If you ever got a piece, that's if you found it, you traded it, or you bought it. So that's nice. But I'm happy that they're dealing with gold tradings a lot more. I don't actually get messages from them anymore, so that's that's an improvement. Then again, my server... Is a bit on that low side. So that's nice. Crafting. A lot of people were apparently asking for a crafting fix. Well, not really a crafting fix. It's making me a little bit bigger. Like, they were saying it was too easy. So now it's harder. Which I'm okay with. I don't... I'm pretty sure some people will be a little irritated. But... I'm alright with it. But I'm glad they went through. But... I'm saying about a lot. Going forward, they say they're going to be more transparent, but I, I think I said it again. They say that a lot. It's, part, it's probably just communication issues in their office, which it happens. Learning from the PTR. They pushed the PTR pretty quick. It felt more like early access than an actual PTR, in my opinion. But there's not too many changes. The, I don't, I don't remember what they changed on the Great Axe, but apparently they buffed it. I'll have to look at that. Now, Musket and Rapier. I honestly don't think they needed a buff. I don't. Before Into the Void update even happened, Musket and Rapier were destroying people. Absolutely ripping them a new one. And then they just got a buff. Ice calling users, I, I, I'm sorry for you. You got hit pretty hard on this update. That does suck. They didn't touch my sword and shield though, so... Kudos to me. I do hope they get rid of this. Like, get rid of this on the sword and shield. I don't care. You can keep these here, but put this on the sword, please. Put this back on the sword. Because when you de equipped, like, I'll look, I'll defer to what he does that now, right? Sword and shield's out. Go to my attributes. It's all messed up now because I'm the Void Gauntlet. 184, 208. With the sword and shield out, swap to Void Gauntlet. Now it's down. Because when you put your shield away, which has half the sword attributes on it, you lose it. I understand why you lose it. But if you have a sword equipped, you should at least be able to keep it. Please. Please. Because then I lose out on this when I switch to my other weapon. It doesn't matter what I'm using, unless I'm using another sword and shield, but why? I use another... No, you can't do that anymore. I was about to wonder if you... Anyways, getting off topic. Void Gauntlet, fun. Trading posts, 
love it. That is it is awesome. I hope they don't shut it down again, cause that that that's gonna suck. Speed boost when we walk on the roads, love it. There was something else. No, I, I think that's no PVP changes. Absolutely love it. I'm currently not flagged as you see, because I just hopped on, and I wasn't really flagged because I was just leveling up my my void gauntlet. So I was just watching a show and leveling it up. But anyways. I will have, I will definitely have this up for you guys in the description below if you want to go through and read it because you just kind of skim through it and all that stability. They're working on it. The Void Gauntlet's introduced a bug that got through PDR that the, the dots that the Void Gauntlet does or really anything that does dots right now is causing some big server lag, which is very unfortunate. The named enemies... Some of the name bosses that they buffed were accidentally overtuned as well, like in Reek Water. Those were overtuned exponentially. So, those are not intended. All the other difficulty increases on the mobs are intended. That's really about it. They, it, from the bugs that got through this time from all the other patches, this one was probably on the lesser side that we know about. So, they're definitely slowly improving on that. I just hope they stay more transparent and share a little bit more on what they're doing and actually get it documented for us to see where we have to go around and test it ourselves. Which is probably going to be a while because they, they, they lost the trust of a lot of, a lot of people. Because this isn't the first time that they... That was stuff non-documented. I was going to say sneaked in, but it's not like they did it on purpose. Well, at least I think. But anyways, guys, thank you for your time. Sorry for rambling on. I hope you guys find this a little bit informative if you were unaware of this. But I'll, again, I'll leave this in the description for you guys to read it over yourselves, because I skimmed over a lot. There's a lot of stuff in here, but I just wanted to touch on the stuff that I found the most important. I know some of you are going to find that ring change is unfortunate, but they don't want double double perks, same perks on the one item, so they changed that. Thank you for your time. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you guys have anything else to add or say, if you disagree with me, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll happily discuss it with you. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody.